everybody. Welcome back to Fishing Off the Hook. Um, today I wanted to show you a short episode on how I pack my vest. So, in case you're... First of all, this is a fly vest. White River fly vest. Um, it's got a couple of loops here for tools. And don't... Want, one quick tip when packing your vest, don't be afraid to pin things on. I have pins all over. I have pins here for my rag. Everything. So let's get started. With as far as tools go, you're going to need clippers and pliers are the most important. See that? Forceps, some people call them. And I have an emergency whistle for when we go camping in case I get lost in the woods or something weird like that. I mean, it's usually not likely. See that? So, but just in case, and I keep a little sunscreen for when you're out there for longer than you expect and hand sanitizer. I mean, I guess I don't use that much because we are fishing after all. And This is for my license. I don't have it on here at the moment, but um, it's a little clip thing and you would just pin on a uh, plastic license, fishing license holder on the front. You always want that on the front so they can see that. They don't have to ask you. Um, I got a couple of front pockets here and I usually keep smaller stuff in here. I got bubbles in here and um, in this side I keep my dry flies and I'll keep those with me at all times in case I ever want to do a flying bubble rig. See that? Grasshoppers, caddis, things of that nature. So always keep those with you. And when I go fly fishing I'll pack this differently. I usually put my nymphs in this side and stuff like that. But I use it for all purpose so um, it's been rigged for, it's been packed for uh, lake fishing. And in here I got one big tackle box and one small one in the deep pocket. The small one I'll put my spinners in usually. Spinners and small lures. And in this one I'll keep my bigger ones like I got a couple of spinner baits and a, or a spinner bait, a um, husky jerk, Rapal husky jerk and all my trout worms because that's our fall, fall rig trout worms. If you didn't see our last video, you should watch that. We we feature, um, here, I'll show you really quick. We feature these trout worms, the, the red, bleeding white one, red and bleeding white. And I tried this one out. I'm yet to catch a fish on it. I'm sure they'll work though. They'll work though someday and pretty soon. Pretty soon. Alright, and I keep all my hooks in there too, trout worm hooks, the long ones. This pocket, I got another small tackle box, see that? Small Plano 6 compartment and I keep uh, more spinners in here. That's a deep runner spinner. This is a chatterbait, mini chatterbait. His eyes coming off, but I'm sure that'll be okay anyway. And, um, that's my uh, Bitsy. I don't know. This one's called the Rebel We Are. That's what it is. Rebel We Are brown crawdad color. That's a great lure right there. I've caught a bunch of trout on that. You should see my last episode. Um, Bitsy Minnow versus Rebel We Are, and this thing just kills it. It works Bitsy Minnow all over, so. Um, I got my Crick Hopper, topwater, mini topwater lure for trout, because I'm, I'm basically packed for trout right now, because uh, that's, that's what's in season here in Colorado. And um, that's a rooster tail right there. I got my um, frog. It's a bullfrog. Uh, I guess that's a wee frog. That's what they call it, Rebel Wee Frog. A lot of wee stuff, and there's my bitsy minnow, Tennessee shad color. See that? All right, so next one, other side. I'll put this guy back in really quick. So yeah, and you, you'll use every pocket for mostly filling with tackle boxes. And this side, this is the one that I don't put a tackle box in. And I keep all my tools, large tools, in here. Right now, it only has a scale, and. That's a degorger hook remover in case if they swallow it. Usually helps remove hooks that are swallowed. So that's that. And in here, this pocket is dedicated solely to trout magnet. See, I have two tackle boxes with trout magnets in them. See that? And that's the trout slayer right there. And then all these colors of trout magnets. I really love that lure. We will have a coming soon. We'll have a trout magnet rigging rigging video as well. So may already be up, I don't know. And there, in this, these two pockets I'll keep my leader. This one's the fluorocarbon, four pound. I love this stuff. It's just, it's, uh, you can use it for virtually anything. I usually use it to replace two pound leader, just so I don't snag and break off my rig. And then of course in here I have my 
four pound tri trilene and two pound that's really old trilene XL and in that one this side small pockets I'll keep floats see those are all basically for trout magnet they're very light crappie floats trout floats they're mainly for streams but they work just fine for ponds and stuff too and these are my weighted floats these are for casting casting it getting it out there and uh, yeah so I'll also pin on a rag I mean if you want to put scent on your stuff on your plastics you don't want to get it on your hand that's a good um, it's a good thing to have I have scent in here somewhere let me see oh here's my small pocket up here this one's got uh, floating on it for my dry flies and I'll keep that in there when I go fly fishing too and then I've got a bunch of inside pockets I don't use these much um, I have Carmex in here uh, stuff like that you know just little little extra things and in here I keep some jigs like I don't use them often but little plastic jigs if you can see that it's like a little mini swim baits and um, right here I have I believe these are the tube jigs. Yeah, tube jigs. No, these are, um, yeah, those are tube jigs, crappie jigs, all kinds of stuff like that. And these are just last resort for me. I never use them. Rarely ever use jigs. And, uh, you know, haven't had much luck with them, but I'm sure they work. So I got that, and usually in this pocket I'll keep my sunglasses. And that's my fishing vest, guys. Of course, I have the back pocket with, um, oh, that, that fell off, I'll have to pin that back on. Um, I have the back pocket with the net, see that? And then right here, here's my carabiner for clipping my hat cam on. And that's a good thing to have if you have a hat cam, you want to probably clip it onto the back of your vest so you don't drop in the lake. <laughs> so, uh, there's my vest, guys, and um, I hope I helped you out. Maybe this can give you some ideas of how you want to pack yours, and or if you want to get one at all. And These are great. These are, um, it's like a glorified creel. Technically, I mean, that's how I use it. A creel would be just to hold tackle in, but this one holds everything, and re really all you can do is just grab this and go with your pole, and that's that's the that's the great um, cool thing about it. So, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.